Hi, it's Jim. I'm Citrus, and we meet again in this new video to discover together a brand new mobile game from Ubisoft, Clash of Beasts. I've already tested it in beta last year, and it's exclusively in soft launch in Vietnam for the moment. So if you want to play it now, send me a comment below in the video. Without further ado, allez, let's go! So now I'm gonna present you the positive and negative aspect of this game. First of all, the real plus of this game is that it combines three different aspects, Gacha, City Builder and Tower Defense. In fact, if you like collecting giant monsters, but also building your own city and managing your resources, and then destroying those of your opponents with your own monster in PvP battles, you will surely find it your liking. These three game styles are extremely welcomed to create a refreshing game that stands out from the crowd. It should also be noted that the 3D graphics are sublime and very immersive during the attacks of enemy bases in subjective view of your monster. The collection of your monster is done by breed of two monsters and this is really interesting because there is some luck but also some thinking to do about the most useful monster to breed between them. Different combinations can be used to get dragon which makes the game even more exciting. The giant monster you will collect have different and more useful skills from time to time depending on the enemy bases and the type of element associated with them. But the objective is essentially to protect your city by strategical placing tower to defend it. In addition, there is a multiplayer mode where you can collaborate with your two friends to take on 3 on 3 challenges online while defending or attacking your base in real time. And this is a red plus because it adds a lot of group cohesion between each clan member. Moreover, the guild mode is extremely unfazed because you have the possibility to make expeditions with different members of your clan, use friends beasts to defend your base against enemy attacks for example, but you can also donate resources and use them to win events. There is an event part where you could get exclusive beasts in a limited time by doing challenge in your guild against other guild and earn incredible reward. So now let's talk about negative points and there are some. Yeah. First of all, the pay to fast side is extremely present. Besides, this, during this soft launch, there is a pass that you could buy, uh, which will allow you to win the VIP role to have a boost of processing during 7 days, but it's only with real money, which is really a pity because it pushed to, to purchase in game. Um, for free to play players, the only way to compete with the whale is to start the game today to gain enough experience and time to be ready for the global launch. Another rather negative point is that the server are not very stable, however you don't need a VPN to play it. And to finish on the negative point, the resources to breed the monsters are often very or too expensive for free to play player, uh, which you can push to buy in game too. Um, yeah, as every gacha, it's often the case, but it becomes more and more recurrent in the last mobile game of Ubisoft, and it does not seem ready to stop, I think. In summary, the game has a lot of potential, awesome graphics, and a magnificent mythology with over 100 beasts to breed. The way battle works with the help of Artoker and Defender of the Ally or Enemy Clan. It's a useful and awesome innovation that pushes us to surpass ourselves and to fight the clan that is up to the task. For your information, I'm part of the first Hellhound clan in the world top, so if you want to join us, recruitment is done on the Discord that you will find in the description. The events by season with exclusive beasts are also relevant and will bring new content over time. The only negative Point for me is the paid fast side, which deteriorates the way and the pleasure of playing for a free to play player. No official release date has been announced, however, the end date of the Discovery season is announced for August 21, so we will surely have news before. I will keep you informed. 
if you want to play the game now but you are in France or in the USA, it's possible with an APK for Android exclusively. I put the link in the description. So I hope that you have liked this video and see you soon for more exclusive content and breeding guide on Clash of Beasts. It was a trade. Allez, ciao. Bye bye.